Hi there, and welcome to Teaching Smarter, where we believe that pixels affect perception. Pixels affect the perception that students have toward the lesson. And pixels, by pixels, we mean technology, we mean smart boards, we mean tablets, iPads, all these fancy things that you can use in the classroom to help affect a student's per the student's perception of math. Welcome uh, for the first time if you're with us for the first time and welcome back if you've used this before. We're glad that we can help again. Uh, today's lesson is actually not a lesson really. It's going to be a quiz. It's uh, in the geometry strand focusing on angles, uh, specifically identifying angles. All of the lessons that we create are based out of the Ontario mathematics curriculum in Ontario, Canada. And uh, in the geometry strand in grade five, students are asked to identify acute, right, and obtuse angles. Now, we're not going to worry about measuring angles today. We're just going to focus on having students identify them. The goal of this quiz, again, is for students to identify the fo whether the following angles are acute, right, or obtuse. And how this little quiz is going to work is I will be showing five different slides. Each slide will have a different angle on it. And the students are asked to simply name the angle. They can label it A, R, or O. So students, get uh, your pens or pencils out. Grab a piece of paper. You've got 10 seconds plus a few extras if you need it. Mr. or Mrs. So-and-so can pause it. But uh, label it, and we will we will get started. Okay, angle number one. I'm going to pop the balloon, and you're going to tell me if the angle is an A, an R, or an O. And remember, an acute angle is less than 45 degrees. An obtuse angle is larger or greater than 90 degrees, and a right angle is 90 degrees exactly. Okay, so I want you to tell me what this angle is. Label it A, R, or O. Next one. Please tell me if this angle is acute, right, or obtuse. Angle number three. It's got a very big baseline, doesn't it? Angle number four. If you need to turn your head a little bit to see where the baseline is, you can do that. Sometimes I need to switch my head around and strain my neck a little bit to see. Angle number five. And there you are. Okay, you can mark your own paper or you can swap it with a partner. It's up to you. There are the answers. Angle number one, acute. Angle number two, right. If you're sitting at the back of the room and you can't see the smart board, angle one is acute, angle two is right, angle three is acute, angle four, obtuse, angle five, acute. A R A O A. Okay, now I'm going to give you a bonus question. All right, make sure you got your sharpened pencil for this one because you're going to need to write quickly. I'm going to put up five angles and I want you to name them before the 10 second timer runs out. Okay, I've got five angles behind this box. I'm going to make that box disappear. I'm going to set the 10 second timer and I want you to just write down whether they're acute, right, or obtuse. Now the angles are not labeled so you need to use the honor system and you need to tell your buddy that the one in the top left corner was angle one, the one below it was angle two. Okay, you will know what angle is what. All right, three, two, 
one. And here we go. This can be one, two, three, four, and five. All right. Hopefully you got all five of them. If you got one or two, perfect. If you got three or four, great. And if you got all five, awesome. Here are the answers. And that is all for today. So go home tonight, view the presentation again, view the video on YouTube. And you'll get 5 out of 5 on the first quiz. You'll get a bonus 5 points, so you'll get 10 out of 5. You'll get 200% on your quiz. Do it with your parents and just blow their socks off and show them how smart you are. Okay? Thanks for watching. You can view this video anytime. You can view it as many times as you want. You can view it before your next quiz or your next test. And uh, you'll find a whole bunch of others on math. Thanks for watching. Teachers, our mission at Teaching Smarter is to provide lessons and resources for you to use technology to teach smarter because we believe that pixels affect perception. Uh, to us, the flipped classroom makes sense in it, that it affords a great opportunity for teachers to have more face time with their students Instead of you teaching the lesson for two-thirds or three-quarters of a period, um, using these videos uh, inside our YouTube channel, you can have students watch the lesson the night before. They can watch it two or three times. They can pause it if they have to run to the washroom or run to dinner. And uh, they can come in the next day having already learned the lesson or at least have a good understanding of it. And now you, instead of spending your time teaching, you can now spend your time zipping around the classroom, helping the students, guiding them through the lesson, giving you more face time with them. If you're a smart board user, or you don't have an actual smart board, but you use the Smart Notebook program, this lesson, along with many others, is available in the Smart Exchange. Search for lessons authored by Teaching Smarter. Finally, you are encouraged to subscribe to our channel for weekly math lessons that we'll be putting out for grades 4 through 6, and we hope to get some 7 and 8 lessons out as well. Remember that pixels affect perception, and we encourage you to teach smarter by giving your students more face time. We hope to see you soon. Thanks again, and happy math.